everyone, welcome back to Sacred Tarot by Nicole. We have a nice new little area here that we will be doing a reading. So I'm gonna do something a little different today. I will be shuffling the deck and pulling cards. Now this is just gonna be a general reading. It's, it's called my nature reading. So messages from spirit in nature. This is the first reading I have done in nature besides one spot I had where it was like partially outside, but like this is like full on outside. I love it. So let me pull some cards here to give you like a general reading in nature messages from spirit. All right, the hermit. <laughs> this makes a lot of sense right now. Oh, first, you know what? I want to introduce little Callie here, my little psychic sidekick. She's on the hunt for squirrels right now. She loves it. Squirrels, birds, she's, she'll be preoccupied. Now, but then I might have to jump up in a, in a second to <laughs> go chase her and, and and then get her back here. So the hermit here is all about resting and looking within, taking time for yourself, reflecting on you. So connecting to your your higher self and looking within and, and using your wisdom based on experience to really know what you want. But it's, it's a time for you to be alone and to look within. And if you do have a lot of people around you, it's time to communicate that you need that a long time. Let's pull another two cards here. All right, the Knight of Pentacles, secure those finances. So this is all about practical thinking. And so the Knight represents See, the next one represents more like extreme energy with, with pentacles. So it is a time to think practically and to think, especially with what's going on in our world right now, it is a time to make sure that our finances are secure. So no frivolous spending and making sure that you're looking at your finances, securing them and, you know, being not so negative, I guess, with money and, and thinking of money as you know, in a positive way and it brings brings you uh, things that you need. So the necessities, it's time to just spend on necessities right now. Now the 10 of cups reversed. Now normally reverse cards, I would say, might have a negative indication or something that you're working on or opposite of what it would be upright. Now this card upright is like a happy family unit. Everything's going good, like the, the family's very happy, the say parents are in love, you're finding love if you don't, if you don't have like that family connection, your friends are your family, sorry, doesn't automatically mean that your blood relatives are your your family. It could also mean that your friends are your family. Now, oh, the breeze in the air there, there's messages coming from spirit. Uh, something's going on with the family here. And I feel like this is a general reading for people that are watching. It has something to do with the fact that there might be some imbalances in the, in the home life right now. So with the family and Again, family could mean friends, so there could be disruptions with friendships. But this is a time to, to look at your relationships and cultivate, cultivate those relationships. They're very, very important. And, and right now, if it's unbalanced, it's time to heal those wounds or mend those relationships. So the Ten of Cups is there to tell you that any disruptions with your family life need to be healed and mended right now. It's very important to look, look at that. So, what I want to say from the tarot cards that I'm getting the messages here is, is time to look within and connect to your higher self. Uh, all the while being careful with your finances and securing those finances and making sure that you know the extreme energies when it comes to money, that making sure you're staying balanced with that. And the Ten of Cups reversed is there that your relationships need some nurturing. They need some tender love and care. Now I also want to draw some of my oracle cards and the reason I chose this one is because this is the Gaia oracle and where are we? We're in nature. So the earth mother. So these cards are very connected to nature and the earth. Oh wow, two just flipped over there so I'm going to read those two. 
So remembrance, resurfacing past feelings and emotions. So this is important, especially when we're talking about the hermit. When you're talking about reflecting on maybe some situations or some past things, events, trauma, you know, that has happened to you, it is time for you to look within and reconnect to your higher power. And the goddess of creation, transformation, creativity, and wholeness. Transformation is very, very prominent right now. So much change, so much transformation. We are at our time in our society where there's so much transformation and so much change that it is time to really rest, retreat, think about finances, think about your relationships, mend those relationships, making sure that you are taking care of yourself and connecting with your higher power. It is so important right now. If you don't have the oxygen mask on for yourself there's no way you can help others so you need to help yourself before you help others you need to love yourself before you can love others and i want to leave it at that thank you so much for tuning in to this nature reading i know it was very quick but i just wanted to do a nice quick reading in nature we got callie our psychic sidekick here who, who stayed still the whole time i'm so so amazed by that um so thank you so much. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thank you.